here to celebrate a ribbon cutting for the Walker C. Fletcher Athletic Facility. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the students of Missouri Valley, I want to thank the family of Butch and Marge Fletcher for their generous lead gift that allowed us to start this campaign for this beautiful facility. I also want to specifically thank Mr. Alan Markowitz for his generous gift in the support of the Markowitz Center for Strength Training and Wrestling as part of this facility. A total of 171 people, businesses, and foundations contributed to this campaign. Many of them were first-time givers, and that's exciting for us at this college to continue a tradition to give back to your alma mater. I want to extend my appreciation and congratulations to everyone that contributed to this relatively quick and successful campaign. Mr. John Fletcher is going to come say a few words on behalf of his family. I said, you know, Dad's name on an athletic complex probably wasn't how he would envision being remembered. Uh, but the place, Missouri Valley College, could not be more appropriate. Dad served as a trustee here for 35 years. He had ancestors who were educated here. He was educated here. He had children and grandchildren who were educated here. And now he has a great grandson at school here. There are people in every community who will identify a need and then go out and work hard to see that need satisfied. Our dad wasn't necessarily one of those people, but when somebody in the community identified a need that he could relate to, he would pitch in and help satisfy that need. He and other here, others here today, Donna, Bedford, Danny, Tommy, worked hard to see Salt Fork YMCA established and to see that facility built. But only after the Elfrinks made the community aware of the need and how that need could be satisfied. <clears throat> That's how he and our mother like to contribute to this community. This building is an example of that. There was a need. With a few exceptions, Dad never sold anything that he invested in. At the time of his retirement, he owned stocks in companies such as U.S. Steel and American brands that he'd acquired in the 50s and maybe even the 1940s. Some were shares that he had inherited. And then there was the occasional tip he received from someone, like the time Ron Sims, who was our Van Dees rep at the time, told him that Van Dees Supply Company out here at the edge of town and all over the central United States now was going to be acquired by a company called International Funeral Service. Dad got laughed at by the broker he called because he thought Dad was pranking him. But he invested somewhat under a thousand bucks in that company at that time. Today, Vandy Supply Company is still an independent company, but Dad never got rid of those shares of International Funeral Service. <laughs> Thirty years later, they were worth in excess of a hundred grand. After Dad retired, he wanted to clean up his portfolio, and someone told him that he could form a foundation, donate these shares, use the proceeds from the sale of them to buy life insurance, I think it was a life insurance salesman who gave him the idea. <laughs> and he could avoid capital gains tax on the shares, plus he could get a deduction for the value of the charitable gift. Dad loved the chance to double dip. So he and our mother put together this foundation together. And he left it to my siblings and me to do good things with it after they were gone. When President Humphreys approached us about this project, it seemed to the four of us like this was an appropriate place to remember our parents. And I would point out that while Dad's name is on the building up here, our mother's name is also on the dedication plaque. Another appropriateness, if you will. Because in everything Dad ever did, our mother was behind him. She supported him and she kept him on the straight and narrow. Our family is happy to be here today as this building is placed into service for use by students of Missouri Valley College now and in the future. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>